some other news from Spain and across Europe. Here's Sarah Stone. Thanks, Scott. Well, we might be focusing our attention on two of the top teams in La Liga tonight. But earlier on this evening, Athletic Bilbao hosted Almeria. And if you missed any of the action, here's a quick recap. Hello and welcome to the update. Park Ji Sung's double strike yesterday has closed the gap to just two points behind leaders Chelsea. The win was particularly impressive because United have been struggling with injury and illness during the week. Good evening. In last night's Champions League game at Old Trafford, United finished top of Group C with a one-all draw against Valencia. Anderson's 62nd minute equalising strike was his first goal in 15 months and was United's 300th Champions League goal. Valencia qualified as runners-up in the group and Pablo Hernandez's goal for Valencia was the first goal conceded by the Reds in 498 minutes of Champions League football. <laughs> with full details of what's on offer across the Al Jazeera network, is Sarah Stone. Thanks, Gary. There's everything still to play for tonight, with none of the teams involved having yet qualified for the last 16. You'll see every goal from all of tonight's matches before we finish here on Plus 3. Thanks, Scott. We might only be at half-time in our featured game, but there was action early elsewhere in La Liga. Let's bring you up to date. Manchester United are top of the Premier League after beating rivals Arsenal 1-0 at Old Trafford last night. And Ji Sung Park was the match winner. The South Korea captain netted for the sixth time this season with a sensational header. Uh, with all the details, it's good evening to Sharon Stone. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Real Madrid, Bayern Munich and Chelsea have already wrapped up qualification. Over the next two nights, 14 other sides can also make it through before the final group games. Don't forget, whoever you follow, every goal will be right here on Al Jazeera Sport Plus 3. Stay tuned to Al Jazeera Sport Plus 3 as on Sunday we're bringing you the Milan derby. Top of the table, AC Milan at reigning champions Inter. We begin at 10pm Mecca time. Manchester United welcome Arsenal to Old Trafford tomorrow night and a place at the top of the Premier League is at stake for both sides. Rio Ferdinand, Paul Scholes and Patrice Evra have all been past fit for the clash against the Gunners. Defenders Wes Brown and Johnny Evans had been suffering with a virus but the boss is confident that they will also be fit. He will not, however, risk Michael Owen, who is nearing full fitness. We have the lovely Sarah Stone. <laughs> is, that, is that another new frock you've got tonight? Oh, thank you. Well, you're my stylist, aren't you? So, yeah. yeah. So how you many have you got? Some. Have you got loads? I've got a few, but we're going to go shopping, aren't we? We could do. And we had our charity Santa run today, where hundreds of Santas ran around the Theatre of Dreams in cause of the Manchester United Foundation. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer was there to support this worthwhile and festive event. England manager Fabio Capello announced a 23-man squad today that included four potential debutants. Manchester United's Chris Smalling, Sunderland's Jordan Henderson and Newcastle's Andy Carroll graduate from the under-21s. Cardiff's Jay Bothroyd could also make his international debut. Good evening and welcome to the update. Manchester United are pleased to announce that Anderson has signed a new four and a half year contract, keeping him at the club until at least June 2015. Uh, with the rest of the full time scores, here's Sarah. Thanks, Gary. Well, another busy night here on the Al Jazeera Sport Network. Here on Plus Three, we've been focusing on Arsenal's Group H. But well, let's bring you up to date with what else has been happening in the Champions League this evening. In Group E, Bayern Munich, who had already qualified before tonight, lost 3-2 away to Roma. Roma are now favourites to join them in the last 16. In the other game, Basel beat Cluj 1-0 to keep their hopes of qualification alive. Go to our website at aljazeerasport.net for full details. I'll be back at the end of the show to bring you all the latest scores from across La Liga and Syria. And as always, there's a choice of English or Arabic commentary via the language button and your remote control. Thanks so much, Sarah.